Traveling Mel.com. Another day, another castle. Today we are going to Linlithgow Castle. Here it is. And it's a nice sunny day, relatively sunny. We're going to take advantage of it and see three different sites. We're on a full on sightseeing tour today. So, first stop the castle, then the Kelpies, these big metal horses and um, the, also the Fall Kirk wheel, which is a lock system. And you will see that later. So this is our third castle in three days and actually with the lovely lady at the uh, entrance pointed out that this is not actually a castle it's not that has no military purpose its only purpose was to display royal power and wealth and it's the only the second royal garden in Scotland um, and it has not been restored it burned down in the 1740s it was built in the uh, 1400 around then um, by James the first my memory is getting so bad I can't even remember 10 minutes ago um, but we're just gonna go climb around and explore there's no audio tours um, but there are a lot of little signs and um, kind of free range so we're gonna check that out and I'm kind of excited for this one as well and it's kind of neat the different the breadth of um, facilities they have or the, the differences in how they've looked after these uh, these buildings and historic sites um, it gives you sort of a you know, a variety of seeing the history there's recreations there's just raw age this is a little bit newer than dune and so it has it's not quite as rugged it's a lot more refined and by a little bit, I mean, you know, a couple hundred years. Apparently, in this room here was where James V and uh, Mary, Queen of Scots, were born. Which, in, th in a way, doesn't really matter, but in a way, is kind of cool that these moments in history uh, still exist. A little bit more real in, in, instead of just another TV show or book. It's real people having real lives. and the boys are sharing their exuberance with the castle. One of the other things the woman at the check-in mentioned was to Imagine this place painted up and decorated like Sterling was, uh, with all the colors and whites and draperies and furniture. And it's, it would be vastly different, that's for sure, rather than just all this raw stone.
family that really gets jazzed about this stuff. I'm glad we came and I'm glad the boys have a chance to run around in a place like this to see all the architecture and the building. It just gives a lot of context to a lot of other things they'll learn over their lifetime. And there's something special about going beyond just seeing it in a picture book or a history book and actually seeing it in person. You get to see the scale, whether it's huge or small, larger or smaller than you expected. And it matters because it makes it so much more real and gives you such a better grasp of history and sociology and anthropology and all those other things that we learn about over our time. And they are important to know to be a, a good person, I think. Be an educated person anyway. Well, I think I've pontificated enough and had a great time just wandering around. It's neat because you can just sort of, you almost have free reign here. Uh, you can go almost anywhere uh, and the boys can run around and you don't have to worry too much about them uh, and it's just beautiful so we're gonna go get some lunch and then we're gonna go off to see the Kelpies or maybe Paul Kirk wheel first we're not sure yet It'll depend on what the food and full stomachs tell us We had a great little lunch at a pub in Linlithgow and we made a very uh, ornate or intricate route here to the Falkirk Wheel, which is probably the opposite of the castles we've seen and then it's super modern. I think it was built in the 90s or early 2000s and it um, raises and lowers uh, boat 79 feet and it's one of only two like it in the world. So this is kind of cool. We're going to go check it out. I think what's going to happen here is the um, boat is going to go on. It's going to carry it up to the top. And then the place that looks like a walk walkway is uh, actually has water in it, and then they go through there, and then just basically rewind. a whole lot to it not incredibly exciting but it's still pretty amazing that they could do that and they, one of the boys told me that the uh, amount of energy used to lower or raise that thing is the same amount you would use to heat eight kettles of water um, which I guess is a uniquely British measurement uh, in any case it's really cool that they have created this system of canals uh, or reinvigorated this system we're gonna go down here and see some of the canals and locks that it feeds into. Apparently, you can even rent canal boats and these uh, locks are self-operated. Don't know exactly how, but you get out and you go along the canal and then you get yourself through the lock locks. What'd you think of that, Anders? Huh? What'd you think of that? that, that that's pretty impressive, for sure, yeah. to say the least. Probably the highlight of my day. More so than the castle? Yeah. I, if I'm gonna be honest, yes. What about this was better? Um, I just like how it's such a big thing. And 
I'm not really into castles. I'm not really into old ruined castles, I guess. Well, we've made it to our third and last destination of the day. Ambition has paid off. It's all, we follow these canals in this area. There's, they're everywhere with canal boats and swans and bike paths and, roar, and uh, walking paths. And I'm looking at the Kelpies now and they are, you know, magnificent. Look how huge they are. Let's go take a look. From what I understand of the background of these things, they, well, Kelpie is this sort of water spirit that lives in locks. And I think they have the power of eight horses or 10 horses. And this also represents, it started out with as that, but then it became, the artist said it didn't really have anything to do with that. And has everything to do with the history of the horses in Scotland pulling boats and freight along the canal paths which is pretty cool. And I really like just the posture of them is pretty cool. And that was the Kelpies. We uh, got some good footage. We saw some really cool sculptures. Saw a castle today, the Falkirk Wheel. And now we're walking over to a playground uh, to play a little bit. And we're walking along this great canal. Then we'll head on home. Thanks for joining us. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave us a comment uh, and share with your friends. But best of all, come back next time. Take care and we'll see you later.